you guys, it's Lacey. Uh, welcome back for another house building video. This house is called Country Tranquility, and it's just a cute little house. Um, it's not too expensive. Um, the total price after everything was, oh gosh, what was it? It was definitely under 100000 so it's very attainable. It's not hard to get. Um, I did have some issues with it because um, this lot right here ended up being not big enough. So I actually end up moving it to a larger lot. And then when I move it to the larger lot, it like, for some reason, it, the house was floating up in the air. So I actually just bulldozed it and redid it um, because I had not gotten very far. Um, you'll see very shortly uh, what ends up happening, but it's not a big deal. Uh, there it is right there where I move it to a larger lot and it's actually floating in the air right now um, And I don't even realize right away that it's floating up in the air Like right now I'm, I'm completely oblivious to the fact that it's floating even though you can obviously tell that it's floating But I don't know It was a interesting very weird situation, but oh well it ended up getting fixed So it's not a big deal it only ended up taking me like, I don't know, like 10 minutes, maybe not even that, to rebuild the entire house because I had already, I already knew what I was doing. So, um, and this is where I realized that it's floating and I'm like, why? Why is it floating? And then I go and I just rebuild it real quick like that. No big deal. Got it worked out. Um, yeah, so this house, um, I... There's so many times when I've started a house and I've been like, I think I'm going to try and make this a starter home. But then when I was building it, like with the actual layout and everything, I was like, this is way too big to be a starter house. Um, so it didn't really work out the way I wanted to, but I really like the way it turned out in the end. Um, I think it looks really nice and I think it's super cute. It's like the perfect little house. It's got two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's really just like the perfect size for maybe a, a very small family. Uh, I think that you could fit in another bed in there somewhere in that second bedroom if you really needed to. Um, but right now there's just a twin bed in that room. Um, so really the parents in one room and then maybe one kid would be like the perfect size family for this house but if you had another kid you could obviously probably fit another bed in there if you needed to um, and this is where I'm like oh I really don't like those columns there so I decide to change the siding to this and then I decide to change it again to a slightly different color as you can see it's a little bit darker more of like a tan than a white because the original one was a white color but uh, I changed my mind and go for the tan color, which is still very, I mean, it almost looks white. It's so light, so. Um, and I wasn't originally planning on putting this back porch on here, but I really liked the idea of it, and I think it looks really good, so I'm really glad I decided to put that back porch on there. Originally, it was just, there was going to be no back door. It was just going to be a... A tiny little backyard and that's it that's all it was gonna be um, but then I yeah I'm pretty happy with the fact that I decided to put that back porch on there I think it really ties the house together and yeah this front porch uh, I really love this front porch and really the back porch is just looks just like the front porch but I love to have like somewhat of a wraparound porch I really like that idea in a house um, I've never lived in a house like that with a wraparound porch, but I would really like that, having that. I think it would look super cute. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble figuring out what windows I wanted to use in this house. Uh, I, do, I don't know why, I just could not figure it out. I was like, what windows do I want to use? Like, it took me a while, but I got it figured out and... Um, I decided to move these up just a little bit. I felt like being right at the bottom of the floor, I didn't really like that. So, yeah, so I moved them up a little bit. Pretty much to the top, almost. Uh, from the inside, it looks like they're like right in the middle, but the outside, it looks like they're right up top. So, yeah, um, and I believe 
yeah I'm gonna put these spandrels on and then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go into the uh, gardening which is very like pretty and a lot of flowers and like pretty much flowers just wrapping around the whole build pretty much uh, I really liked that idea I thought it was cute um, I don't do that a whole lot with my builds I like to kind of you know uh, space things out well um, and in this house I just really wanted it to be like completely surrounded by flowers and make it you know give it that like country feel you know if that makes any sense um, and then I also changed up the terrain a little bit made a little uh, a little dirt kind not really a pathway but like where it looks like it had been worn down a little bit because maybe you know maybe they walk around the house that way um, so that's why I did that and then made it kind of like fade into the grass the more as I went to the back of the house uh, if that makes any sense whatsoever um, but yeah I pretty much wrapped the whole house in just flowers pretty flowers I really like that I think it looks really good actually so uh, it didn't take me too long to do the gardening in this house. I think it only took me like 20 minutes maybe to do all of the gardening in this house. And now I'm going to go into the interior and I'm going to put the doors in and then I'm going to start on the kitchen here in a second. Um, I really love the kitchen in this house. It's small, but it's it, this is the kitchen. It's very, uh, I don't know, it's just very cute if that makes any sense. And yeah, very, it's kind of simple, but really that's all it needs to be, if you think about it. Um, I use these darker colors um, against the white or the lighter color of the backsplash there to just make it pop a little bit more. And then I really wanted this to curve here, like curve in towards the wall. Uh, it took me a minute to get it because it was... You know blending in the counters like that is not the easiest thing to do in this game because you know there's like that weird glitch where it likes to be weird and stupid so yeah uh, and then I moved that in a little bit because I wanted that I wanted to give them like the idea of more like a pantry like a small pantry or just more storage for their kitchen and that's why I put in those ca those long cabinets on that wall right there to make it feel like maybe that's where they keep their food or you know extra whatever for their kitchen so um, and I do remember to put a trash can in this house which I forget a lot by the way um, I do remember to put it in but not until after I had already placed everything in the kitchen and I really didn't know where to put it I had no idea where to put it so I end up just like finding an odd place for it so if you guys don't like where I end up putting it you might want to change that at some point but yeah uh, this is the little dining area um, and I do add in this little like what looks like a little china cabinet there really to just make it look like there's more space or storage space there um, and then I just put a few random little decorations over here on this wall and a bookshelf for reading and stuff. Um, and then over here is the living room area. I do put in a fireplace. Um, I do change the colors though to a slightly darker fireplace to blend in with the, uh, the columns. I don't know why I couldn't remember that just to blend in with the columns a little bit better and you know what I should have done is I should have put some type of stone underneath that fireplace but I actually forgot to do that so oops oopsie daisy um, it's actually a very nice size living room I really like the way it turns out I actually really love this living room I wish I had this living room uh, it's just very cute and spacious and I just really like it so yeah I really think it turned out well and then I put some lamps on here and I also put a bunch of decorations around it which I normally don't do but I wanted to make this house feel like it was very lived in and used uh, most houses that I build I just sort of like make it look very clean and like 
no clutter anywhere uh, just very clean and fancy looking but this house I wanted to make I wanted it to look a little bit more lived in granted it's still very clean looking and very tidy looking but you know pictures everywhere and random books laying everywhere and you know the options that I have with the game pretty much I am really excited to see what sort of new objects we're going to be getting with the uh, get to work expansion pack I'm so excited for it it's not even funny because I need new objects like I was really excited when the um, outdoor retreat expansion pack not expansion pack but game pack came out I was so excited about that I was like yay we get new objects um, but all of the objects were camping related for the most part I mean there was there's still a lot of things from that game pack that I use in a lot of my builds like the clutter items and stuff like that for the kitchen and all that but I just really need new objects new plants new you know lamps new everything pretty much so um, I do change my mind about this bathroom um, I end up giving them more more storage in here too uh, I really like that idea of just giving them a ton of storage like just tons um, and then I was like what counters did I use like I couldn't figure it out what ca what counters went with those uh, cab them long cabinets but I end up figuring out in the end but they still look like they're slightly different colors don't they from that angle I don't know I there they are the same color but they kind of look like they're not but they are so I think it's just the way the lighting is in the room I don't know that's weird um, but yeah this is the master bathroom right here uh, I give them their the huge you know the huge tub in there um, because you know master bath master bathrooms usually have that so um, and now I'm gonna start on the master bedroom and I give them their own little bookshelf over there in that corner which was just empty space but I thought I'd use it you know uh, the colors in here are very red and brown based I guess uh, I really liked that. I, I I don't know why, but I I feel like with master bedrooms, I almost always make them very neutral colored. Like, I don't know why, but I just do because I feel like you can't really have like really girly colors in there because the guy that's in there won't like it. So you can't have really masculine colors because I feel like the girl won't like it and if it's a couple if it's a master bedroom where a couple is in it I feel like it should be neutral and have aspects of both you know femininity and masculinity to kind of tie it in together like they're both coming together I don't know I'm rambling on now uh, this is the closet for the master bedroom uh, I really like it I think there's tons of space in there for clothes obviously it's unusable space in all reality but I do put a mirror in there so I guess if your sim wanted to use that mirror in there I'm pretty sure they could because there's plenty of space um, and then I also put a little closet in this room right here which ends up being a, a boys room could be a teenage boy or a child doesn't matter it's just a boy room and you could always change all the colors in there and make it a girl room if you needed to. Uh, so yeah. Um, I do put the... This is actually the only computer in the house right there. Um, so I didn't put any other computers anywhere in the house. So if you're... You know, you could probably add one in the master bedroom somewhere. There's plenty of room in there. So uh, just get rid of one of the dressers or something in there because there's two dressers in there. Just get rid of them. No big deal. But anyways, we're coming up on the screenshots here in just a moment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and comment on this video. And don't forget to subscribe for daily Sims 4 videos. Bye, you guys.